Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're in an unusual place at the moment, Edinburgh Waverley Rail Station. Uh, we're going on a little trip, so with, I thought we'd sort of do a little painting here, but time, it's amazing how time carries on and uh, we've only got a really short time to do this, about half an hour. I was hoping to spend a, an hour at least doing it, but um, half an hour is all I've got. There's lots of noise, so just uh, sorry about that, but uh, we haven't got the time to wait for the noise to stop. So. Uh, Anyway, come and join me and, and see if I can paint this picture in half an hour. Right, so I've, uh, I've done a, a drawing. Uh, it was about a five minute drawing of the scene just to uh, speed things up a bit. Tanya didn't photograph that because she was getting ready with all the other gear. So I've done the drawing and now it's a question of attacking it. And I think I really have bitten off more than I can chew in this one. So it's going to have to be quite an abbreviated style. There's no time for letting the colours dry at all. So I'm just going to have to uh, gun it. <laughs> Right, here it goes. So I'm mixing some uh, burnt umber and ultramarine blue, just as the basic colours. Right, okay, so I'm going to start with the track at the bottom. So there's a sort of colour of the base of it. I'm going to... So it's, it's really, really an aggressive style today. Uh, I've got no time for anything. So the drawing, the drawing was pretty good. I quite like the drawing. Right now for some, the brickwork here. This is going to be one of the quickest paintings I've ever done in my life. Right, and then so what I'm what I'm trying to do really is to sort of um, block in really. I'm, I'm not going to have any time to do any proper painting. So it's it's a value study at the moment. Popping things in. Okay. Uh, the, the, it's freezing today, so the, the temperature's probably about zero at the moment, and it's always a bit colder in these railway stations where there's a lot of iron going on, and the iron, the iron work is just like a, um, it's just like a fridge. Right. So that's the pavement coming in there. Didn't necessarily want that to happen. So I'm going to try and, and lift the bits here for the posts that hold the roof up. Okay. Now grey for the pavement. This is a platform It's a very interesting process, in fact, just trying to paint as fast as you can. I, I think it's well worth well worth experimenting with that too because it makes you makes you have to do things. Time is short and that's a really good thing at times. My left hand is getting cold already because my palette's metal so that's really cold. Okay so that's the basic background done. And now I'm going to have a go at the blue train. So that's a cobalt blue. Really nice cobalt blue, that. And there's lots of different changes of colours to it. It's actually got a bit of yellow in that because you see my, in the travel, my yellow has gone into my blue. So <laughs> and that's not necessarily what I wanted to happen. Right. OK, so... Let's see what we can do. Wow, that palette's cold. <laughs> so, chaining it down the... Going down the track. Okay, that's the end of the uh, announcement, so we can get back to talking again. One of my favourite subjects. So, we're, we're getting back into the train now. So that's, that's the underpainting done. And it's not too bad, actually, given the circumstances. So now I'm going to get back into the train and see what I can come up with. So we've got these darker blues underneath here, which are nice. 
So we've got to give it that sense of three-dimensionality. That's the most important thing with, uh, with, with, uh, with painting, to give it a sense that it actually exists in three dimensions. That's one of the whole points of it. And so it's trying to get the few details of the train in. So we've got a blacker area, so it's ultramarine blue and black and, and brown to get this sort of top section in. That's quite fun. And then the side windows, door. You never know what happens with these quick pictures. I, I do quite enjoy them, but there's something... The whole point of watercolour is excitement, and these, these paintings have excitement in spades. See, it's not quite dry enough, but we're just going to have to live with that. Normally I like a much drier surface to work on. Right, to go down the side to the windows, but you can see it's not dry, but we'll put it in anyway because this is a rush. But when, when, you, when you go travelling, hopefully you do, and you take your watercolours with you, this is what it's all about. This is, this is the greatness of watercolour, that you can actually do this. So, a few more. The railings. The, the posts, which are quite pretty, so th th put those in. It's the shadow side of it. And then lots of the things that come across. The yellow of the markings. It's quite interesting. So just getting in a few details, a side wall that's coming in there, the platform on the other side. So I'm just trying to put the railway sleepers in. So that's a nice dark one there coming in. This is due to a point Platform 19 for the 11 cross country. Okay, so carrying on. Um, we've got about 10 minutes left on this one, so not very long. It's not going to be my greatest painting I've ever done, but it, it's been a really interesting experiment to see how how these these sort of conditions can can work right now I put a bit more of the blue train on uh, I think it's cobalt because co cobalt or maybe a bit of ultramarine blue so a nice few bits of of color in there now and in the background too The, the iron work up above is like fantastically complicated, so there's no chance of putting any of that in really. And it goes into the sky. Nice dark patch at the back of the back of it here, which will bring things out a bit. So what I'm looking for really is, is just a, a value study here. There's no time for detail at all. So I'm just gonna place in marks that will bring it out. It is a lot of fun though. And 
There's a little drain cover on the front here, which I'm going to put in. There. And there's some bits of archi architecture around here, which I'll put into that sort of post coming down. So, ultramarine blue and burnt umbra for the darks. Lots of little finicky things by the wheels. Back of the train. put some of the doors in as well. Okay. Train is going to go soon so we're going to have to abandon this shortly but it, it's sort of coming out quite nicely I quite like it. Now I've got some white here which is really hard I need to squeeze some out more out but I don't have it handy. I always, always squeeze the white paint out last because it um, it always goes so hard. If, even in one painting session, it goes hard. So I'll, I'll ask Tanya, maybe she can pop over and get some white paint from my bag, just so I can keep on painting. I'll carry on with the darks. Right, so there's a bit of stuff on the roof. More of the windows. Not sure I've ever done a painting quite so fast. Right, just miss. Think about. Right, okay. So there's there's a, a lot of the train done. Uh, add, adding a few more darks to it down the side of the carriage, and all, all I can really do now is add a few of the uh, the uh, lights. Hopefully that brings it together. Right, here we go. The lights. Right, so we've got some lights, the light of the, the light of the vehicle or the train. Uh, and then it goes, there's a beam of light going up the side. Uh, what's going on here? See how paint's sort of um, merging. There's some nice light on the roof. Here. I hope they don't report me with something that doesn't look right. <laughs> and a light on the other side. And a light on the track. So it's just an impression, really, and um, a fun impression, too. I've, I've really quite liked it. Not every picture has to be perfect. When you go on holiday, one of the, one of the nice things is to capture capture your trip, and watercolor is the perfect medium for that. And then some reflections on the on the, the glass, and that should be it. Right there we go. A little picture, but just a little bit of fun. We've got five minutes to pick pack up, and then we're off on the train. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> It's a bit of fun and not a serious painting at all, but just to give you an idea that you can paint whilst you're traveling, even if it's like 10, 15 minutes or so, but that's the whole fun of watercolor, getting out and having a bit of fun. Anyway, we've got to catch our train now, so we're going to pack up quickly, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video uh, in our holiday destination.